Bollywood actress Sanya Malhotra flaunts a perfectly toned frame in a brown bikini on social media. Sanya posted a string of pictures from her vacation in the Maldives on Instagram. On Thursday, posing on a pool deck in a brown bikini paired and a straw hat. In one picture, she soaks in the sun and in another, she poses on a ladder. She captioned the image with a sun emoji. Sanya currently has Binakshi Sundareshwar, Love Hostel and Paglet in her kitty. Bollywood production powerhouse Yashraj Films has unveiled an impressive slate of theatrical releases in 2021. As many as five films have been lined up over the course of the year ahead and all the films are scheduled to release in theatres. The banner's year is slated to start with Sandeep or Pinky Farrar on March 19. The Dibakar Banerjee directorial starring Arjun Kapoor and Pariniti Chopra was scheduled to release last year but got postponed owing to COVID. Bunty or Bubbly 2, a sequel to the studio's 2005 blockbuster, is scheduled for April 23. The film stars Sidhan Chaturvedi and Sharvari with Rani Mukherjee and Saif Ali Khan. It is directed by debutant Varun V. Sharma. Shamshera, directed by Karan Malhotra, starring Ranbir Kapoor, Sanjay Dutt and Vani Kapoor, will release on June 25. The Ranveer Singh starrer Jayesh Bhai Jordar is slated to hit theatres on August 27. The film cast Bollywood debutant of Shalini Pandey opposite Ranveer. The film is helmed by debutant filmmaker Divyang Thakkar and also features Baman Irani and Ratna Pathak Shah. Finally, YRF has lined up some fireworks for Akshay Kumar fans on Diwali. The superstar's upcoming historical drama Prithvi Raj has been scheduled for a release on November 5. The film marks the debut of Miss World 2017 Manushi Chiller and is directed by Dr. Chandra Prakash Tivedi. Actress Dia Mirza, who got married earlier this week, delivered a message against patriarchy by getting an elderly female priest to conduct her wedding rituals. On Thursday, the actress took to Instagram to express gratitude to veteran priest Sheila Atta with the hashtags Rise Up and Generation Equality. The garden where I have spent every morning for the past 19 years was an absolutely magical setting and the most intimate and perfect space for our simple and soulful ceremony. We are so proud to have been able to organize a completely sustainable ceremony without plastics or any waste. The materials used for the minimal decor we went for were completely biodegradable and natural. The highest point for us was the Vedic ceremony conducted by a woman priest. I had never seen a woman performing a wedding ceremony until I attended my childhood friend Ananya's wedding a few years ago. Ananya's wedding gift to Vaibhav and me was to bring Sheila Atta, who is her aunt and also a priestess, to perform the ceremony for us. She also painstakingly went through several hours of training to imbibe the essence of the scriptures so that she could assist Sheila Atta and translate the shlokas. It was such a privilege and joy to be married this way. We do hope with all our heart that many more couples make this choice for it is a woman's soul that contains love, wonder, benediction, magical energy, tenderness and deep empathy for all that lives. It is time for women to own their own agency, their divinity, their power and to redefine what is old and birth, what is new. As Charles Bukowski said, there is no lie in their fire. So what can be more uplifting and empowering than to see the sacred fire within a woman's heart and soul taking center stage at a wedding? I am still overwhelmed by the magic of this one moment. Also, we said no to Kanyadan and Bidai. Change begins with choice, doesn't it? The married Mumbai-based entrepreneur Vaibhav Bhavreki on Monday. On Tuesday, the actress took to social media to post snapshots from her wedding. Subscribe to our channel. Just click on the bell icon for all the latest updates.